adventures video so today we're going to be jumping back into aliens another glorious day in the core the lb427 designs latest releases so if you're not sure what aliens another glorious day in the core is let's run through quickly what it is so it is a cooperative uh, although some of the later expansions like get away from you bitch adds in a versus component but a cooperative expansion uh, game for basically the Aliens franchise. Now this is based on the Aliens, the movie. So not Alien, uh, not Alien 3, not Prometheus, Covenant, any of that. It is purely Aliens and the Hadley's Hope um, <coughs> incident. So, pretty much it, what they have released is the Aliens and Another Glory Stay in the Core is the core set. Now that one basically gives you the base missions that follow the rough storyline of the movie you have uh, most of the marines plus ripley and newt and uh, basically a bunch of generic aliens now from there what they also released is the get away from her you bitch expansion which apart from adding in uh, the ability to be the aliens, so a player can actually be the aliens, it expanded upon the missions that were in the core set, as well as went even further and added the final pieces, which were the alien queen, um, and I believe added rules for like face huggers and eggs. Then they released the ultimate badasses, which basically gave you the last of the marines that entered Hadley's Hope. And also gave you basically a, um, I want to say, a leveling system to basically allow you to level up your your uh, characters as you go through. And then the final one, which they've just released, is we're in the pipe 5x5. Five five. Now this one to me adds a lot more um, for the movies, kind of into the game. So this adds the dropship as a, as a playable board piece. It adds the um, pipes. Uh, air ducts in there. It also adds um, Spunkmire and um, I can't remember the other one's name. I never can. Um, we have done a video on this. And then also adds five, I believe, new, four or five new, uh, four, it's right here, variants that basically increase the difficulty. So that is the, the overview of the board game. Now, as we've previously gone through lv427 have converted the boards that you find in this game um, into a 3d element basically so each of these represents one of the cardboard tiles that you'll put together to create your board now these are vastly expanded and vastly more detailed and very thematic and obviously we've gone through operations one two lower workstations and lower storage. Now, um, I have got a video coming out to basically show you where we're at with those, um, which is quite far, but I just wanted to run through some of the new stuff that's been released. So we now have the Sulaco Mess Hall and the Landing Bay Showdown. Now these go together, as you can see, these two doors here match these two. And these are, to basically um, simplify, these is, this is the final mission, the game against the Queen, I don't want to spoil the movie in case you've never seen it, but um, it's basically that showdown. These just are absolutely fantastic. They're just as detailed as the previous sets, completely compatible. Um, now, this is the Sulaco, but it still matches up with the other, and um, basically, another glorious day in the core sets. Um, so you can kind of create your own uh, boards if you wish, but these perfectly capture the cardboard tiles. And here we have the landing ray showdown complete with, and this is intentional, the half drop ship. Now, this on the actual board game is a tile you can remove. I don't know if it is for this. Doesn't look like it, um, but which would have been cool if there was kind of like a door piece you could put on top 
and then lift this off and you've got the sub uh, basically there are two airlocks um, and go from there but that's okay I mean you know they can't accommodate everything so we have half the uh, dropship here and then this is details and this just brings back memories of the movie I really like this now most people print all of these tiles at 85 percent I didn't I printed 100 um, I actually got the first few um, files to test so I printed them at 100 honestly even that gives you enough room to kind of play um, and get your hands in there and, and doesn't take away from the theme um, it really can be used for all sorts of games um, you can use these for Marvel Crisis Protocol if you wanted but there's a lot of alien games out there you've got AVP the Hunt Begins obviously you've got aliens and other glorious day in the core but you also have uh, the aliens uh, the board game I believe it's by leading edge and so it really kind of allows you to do that and obviously you have the aliens of role-playing game so if you wanted to set something during Hadley's Hope this is perfectly fine I personally have been reading the new one of the alien novels um, I believe it's Sea of Sorrows or River of Pain I think and basically that takes place just before the aliens movie and then slightly into it and basically chronicles the um, contingent of marines that are on the um, Hadley's Hope when the first outbreak and then the colonists I personally am going to try and see if I can write some rules to use colonists within the uh, another glorious day in the core because that system and these tiles just beg for it basically they just you know you really can go from there now they've also added the cargo bay hold and the landing bay one now these are from the getaway from your bitch expansion if you remember I told you they expand upon the story so this is actually where you would start is these six tiles here is where you start and as you can see this part of the dropship is actually slightly bigger and then you would obviously have this cargo bay hold here and then this is how you enter Hadley's Hope um, so this is just amazing I love the idea that we can basically do all of the expansions at least for the first mission um, so that is just amazing and then they have started the reactor ones now these I do know it took them a while to figure out how to kind of do this because the, the maps themselves are just they're crazy <laughs> and you can put them all different ways and they had to kind of work out how to do it but this is just fantastic it really gives the look of a hive feel because um, again spoilers this is all basically invested in the movie and on the boards so this really does add to that theme um, it's just it's it's really good to see that not only you know do we have the option of the board game which itself is great it's a fantastic game and if you didn't go with these tiles that is fine absolutely fine these um just add that so much more immersion to it i may even try and see if i can put some lights in some of these just to kind of light it up a little bit i know here i'd like to figure out how to do something to kind of light it up it just yeah it's it's absolutely amazing what they've done and how they've basically taken the tiles and almost replicated it exactly to this scale so that's it guys literally like i say if you are a fan of the aliens and you play any aliens game whether it's role playing whether it is the board games these tiles are absolutely a must for your immersion um now if you don't have a 3d printer that's fine lv 427 designs they do have a list of printers uh, people who can print for you um, i'm not sure how on the cost of that now the files themselves are 16 bucks and that means you can print off these as many as you want now for these tiles here i'm honestly not sure how many times you'd want to print them off because they're pretty much much a one for one but if we just quickly take a look at some of the other aliens so let's go to the hive this is basically these you could print off you pay three bucks and you could literally just print off as many of these as you wanted to get that I do know that AVP Wargamer is looking at converting the um, AVP the hunt begins 
and here you can see those tiles into this board so again you could I actually own two copies of it technically the first uh, the second copy was actually a replacement for the cardboard pieces so I could make some really big maps and honestly with these I mean this is just so reasonable if we go back to the original here now that's so reasonable price I mean now these I'm going to assume are probably going to be about the same um, now each one is split into four pieces to allow you to print it and then you can glue it together or start I personally am not going to glue them together um, I don't know structurally how well they'll stay together so I'm happy to just basically leave them apart and they'll allow me to store them better but there we go guys that is another glorious day in the core inspired tiles by LB427 and a quick run through of aliens now I'm not sure when these will be released how long after we're declared overdue can we expect a rescue 17 days but keep checking back soon and uh, we will see you on the next video thank you